Hey guys, this is Matt with Sound Off Audio. Been getting a lot of questions about mounting depth and how it pertains to uh, different different woofers in, in different vehicles. You know, every, every vehicle's got a, a, a different amount of volume and depth that can be obtained under the seat or behind the back seat. So the, the shallow woofers have, have become a really popular way of addressing that and getting woofers into tight spots. But there's two things that need to always be considered before you purchase a woofer, whether it be a flat or any other type of woofer, and that's the mounting depth and the mounting diameter, and that's some of the things I'm going to go over with you today. These woofers, the flat woofers, as you can see, this is a TSSW251 Pioneer. Now, it's a little less than three inches thick compared to the, the power base S10 TD, which is a dual voice coil. They also make a single voice coil version. They're, they're about the same depth, but I prefer a dual voice coil over a single voice coil just because it gives you a lot of more flexibility as far as arm loads. And if you'll notice, this woofer is, is actually recessed. The surround, and this is the surround. For those of you who don't know what the surround is, the surround is the, the, the point that actually helps the woofer during the X-Max or excursion cycle. And on this one, you'll see it's this one's only about an eighth of an inch higher than the actual mounting flange. Now that's important that the woofer is actually recessed because during X-Max or excursion, if it was not recessed, it's going to hit the back of the seat, hit the underneath the seat, hit the floor, whether it be down fire, up fire, or out fire. So you do want to look for flat designs that are recessed. And there are some that are flat that are not recessed that just have a regular standard Santa Preen or rubber surround that sticks up about a half an inch. It will do you no good. Even though the underside is relatively flat, the box is still going to be, especially if it's a vehicle specific box, is it going to be any thinner? And so you're still going to be hitting the back of the seat, behind the seat, or the floor. So that's one important aspect to look at. The other thing is mounting depth. Mounting depth is very hard to, to measure because different woofers have different size magnets. And the diameter of the magnet and the angle of the box are two critical factors that are very, very hard for you to discern what the actual mounting depth is. So take this woofer for instance. This magnet's about five and a half, six inches wide. Now when it's laid on a nine degree angle, you can measure all the way around and the mounting depth is going to be the same. But if you was to put this thing in a truck or a car where it's actually kicked, the mounting depth on this side of the 15 degree slope is probably going to be four inches. The mounting depth on this side of the slope is going to be two inches. Well, how do you just, you know, how do you find out what's what? Well, we as a manufacturer go by basically a five and a half to six inch magnet as a standard measuring. So, if you measure inside the speaker box, you want to measure actually in the middle, not at the top of the angle or at the bottom of the angle. Measure in the middle, and that'll give you a rough idea. And we're fairly conservative when we rate our speaker boxes as far as mounting depth. Because another thing that you want to look at is the pole piece. This is where the woofer actually vents hot air. So if you've got the pole piece smushed up against the back and there's no room to breathe, well, you're generating heat. And heat is distortion, and that's always bad on the life of a woofer. So we always like to give at least a half an inch or about a finger's width between the back of the magnet and the pole vent. Now, some manufacturers like Kicker, the CVTs are actually vented from the side, which is a great design. But typically, manufacturers are going to do it the cheapest way, and that's right out the back, right out the ass end. 
this one's actually got some vents on the side, but the main pole piece is right here in the center, and that's that's just the way they've been doing them for years. So mounting depth. Just remember remember what I was telling you about how to calculate mounting depth. You don't, you know, uh, if you have a woofer and it's six inches deep, well, you know, you really want to match the woofer to the box. So, you know, if you guys are going to order a speaker box from us, wait till the box gets in or, you know, call me for a recommendation because I have had several customers, and this is the whole reason why I'm making this video, that I had a customer recently that ordered a box for an 07 and up GM crew cab. Well, he had a huge Rockford, which was basically just like eight inches of mounting depth. And I mean, common sense has to play a role sometimes. If you can't fit the damn speaker under the seat, well, you probably ain't going to be able to fit it in a box. Because just because you have the depth, you know, you need about one and a half to one and three quarter inches for excursion for the woofer to actually fire, which gives your base somewhere to go and protects the woofer. If you got the woofer sitting on the floor, it, it's just it's just retarded, folks. It's just retarded. So, you know. I know some of you younger guys are like, well, I want to get the biggest woofer that I can get in this truck. Well, mounting depth is going to limit you physically. The truck is going to limit you. So, you know, just keep some, some reality here in these trucks. Your parents or yourself bought a crew cab pickup for it to remain a crew cab trip pickup and be fully functional. All of our boxes require no modification you know, drastic modifications to the seat or anything so you can use the vehicle. So, and another question that, you know, people have asked was about the excursion of these woofers and, and, and the output. Well, yeah, I mean, they don't have the excursion capabilities, the abilities of some of these bigger woofers. So, they're going to be a little bit limited in, in, in base output, but, you know, um, this woofer I sell for about $85.00. This one sells for about ninety nine. Um, you know, I just I can't see spending, especially in an economy like this. You know, there. I mean, like the the TW five or the the JL TW five, whatever the thirteen. I mean, the woofer's like seven or eight hundred dollars. I mean, it's phenomenally engineered and it is a great woofer. But in, in, unless you're an attorney or a doctor or a lobbyist or, or somebody who's making a pile of money. If you can afford to get that woofer, by all means, get it. We build boxes for them all the time. But for the average Joe guy that wants good quality base in his truck or SUV and really wants to use the vehicle, this is the way to go right here. So now we're going to talk about mounting diameter. Okay. When you order a box, especially if you order one of these Chinese or Mexican crap boxes, okay, you're going to get a 9 and 1 8 hole cutout, which is the industry standard. But that doesn't always mean anything. For instance, this woofer has a 9 and 1 8 hole cutout, so it'll fit in most standard boxes, even the crap boxes. But this woofer is, in Pioneer, is notoriously famous for their, uh, their smaller subs they're shallow subs for having a crazy ass mounting diameter nine and three eighths nine and one eighth so if you got this woofer and you ordered a box off the internet well you're going to have to take a jigsaw or a grind or grinding wheel or something and grind this thing out which is the pain in the ass after you spent two hundred dollars or whatever getting a box shipped to your door and, and you and you've got a woofer that won't fit it you know that's why we offer multiple hole diameters. We, we, we custom cut them for you. You know, if you want 9 and 5 sixteenths, 9 and 3 eighths, 9 and a half. There are, folks, there are so many mounting diameters with different woofers. You know, make sure before you order a box that you actually know the mounting depth and mounting diameter of your woofer. 
because it's gonna it's gonna make it a lot more enjoyable experience for you as a customer if you get the proper mounting depth and mounting diameter information before you buy the box you know simply call us and say hey Matt will this thing fit in this box I'm gonna tell you yes or no now I'm, on, I'm about to wrap this video up on uh, mounting depth and mounting diameter and I'm gonna do you one on airspace which is just as important y'all stay tuned thanks